this breakthrough could solve climate change, but where's the actual study? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Hey, so uh, that'll be $45 to read this publicly funded research. Sorry, $45? I, I just want to see what these scientists found. Do you have a university login? No, I'm just curious. $45, nothing. All right. Um, Maybe this journal has it. That's $52. Are you serious? This research is about saving the planet, and I can't read it because I don't have $50? Hey, girl, knowledge isn't free. This research wasn't free. Didn't I pay for this? Oh, yeah, no, your tax dollars should pay for this. What's your point? My point is that this is completely backwards. How else am I supposed to make informed decisions about climate change, health, or anything else if the research is off? Hey, we're protecting intellectual property. At what cost? This isn't just about paywalls, it's about who owns our knowledge. And that's actually the theme of International Open Access Week. When publicly funded research gets locked behind corporate paywalls, we're letting private companies control access to information that affects us all. Here's what's exciting, though. There are alternatives. Organizations like PLOS are showing that open accessing publishing works, Preprint servers let scientists share their findings immediately, and Creative Commons makes it easy to share your knowledge freely. And for researchers, you don't need expensive fees to go open access. Green open access means uploading your work to repositories for free, and your library can help you look into options for this. Because the science that could solve climate change, cure diseases, and help us understand our universe, it shouldn't be locked away from the people who funded it. So for this open access week, let's ask. Who owns our knowledge? Head to the link in my bio for more resources on how to support open science.